Well, everyone knows about scuba diving. Our diving is a little bit different. We are supplied air from the surface from a dive compressor. So when you scuba dive, you have a limited amount of air in a tank, and when that tank of air is gone, you have to come to the surface. Or a surface supply, you don't have to come up because you have unlimited air supply from a compressor. This is our life support skid. This gives us our two generators that are producing the compressed air for our divers to breathe. Coming from the dive compressor, the air is delivered through these air hoses up overhead. Through the hoses overhead, it comes into our volume tank. Coming from the volume tank, it comes into our dive manifold. And on the top half of that manifold, we have our controls for our pneumofathometer. So this tells us our depth for our divers. And in an emergency, we could also supply emergency air to the divers. Red diver, com check over. Read your red diver. And then coming off the manifold, it goes through our diver's umbilical and then feeds into the diver's helmet. Looks up to the side block of the dive helmet, so this feeds the diver's air. On the back of him, we have the diver's bailout bottle. This is emergency air supply. In case there is a problem on bottom, he has a few minutes of extra air on the back. Hooked up to that is our uh, master gauge for that bottle, so we know how much pressure, and so does the diver while he's working on bottom. This is the pneumo. Uh, this would be their comm wire, and then this is their main air. There's work to be done topside we're probably already doing in the water. I mean, you could do any job underwater that you could do topside. <laughs>